Welcome to a tutorial on Twine. In this video, I'm going to show the CSS macro. So in many cases, we have seen various other changer macros we can use within Harlow 3.3. We can use text style, text size, text color, color, background, and a large number of other changer macros. However, there might be some cases where we want something very specific, and it might not be covered by another macro. In those cases, we can use cascading style sheets, a web technology that exists inside web browsers, to work with the CSS macro, the CSS for cascading style sheets, to use that web language as part of styling different hooks, as well as part of other enchantments. So let's get into some examples. So keep in mind, of course, CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, is its own language. It has its own rules and it's very robust. It's been around for quite a long time. So if you feel comfortable with this or you feel comfortable looking at examples and using it within your code, you can do this. However, keep in mind, of course, that there are a large number of changer macros, many of which I have now covered in this series, that does most of the same things you would want to do within Harlow. However, because it is a changer value, it's a changer macro, the CSS macro, it works with enchantments, which means the use of words, phrases, and names for hooks also applies. So let's look at this example right here. If I want to enchant the phrase change me, including the exclamation mark right here, I can apply the CSS macro, a changer macro, along with some CSS values, which are called rules right here, background color red, color green. So if I run this, we will see change me changed because it is a changer value using the CSS macro. And there it is right here. But we also saw in a previous video, we could also use color and background macros together, combine them as two different changer macros and achieve the same effect. So again, if you feel more comfortable with CSS, you can use that. But if you feel more comfortable with using the macros within Harlow, you can use those. And of course, mix them as perfectly valid as well. So let's look at one more example. Keep in mind, we can do the same thing we've been doing. Again, using enchantments right here, working with CSS, or using enchantments with the existing macros we know of color and background, as I was just mentioning, to achieve the same effect. So if you feel more comfortable with CSS or you want to achieve some things Harlow doesn't currently have macros for in Harlow 3.3, CSS macro is your go-to macro for that. If instead you want to achieve the same effect with the other existing macros, you can do the exact same thing. Now I want to point out, for example, to something that might catch people. So let's go ahead and shift the start over here. So we can mix these if we feel more comfortable with one approach or another. However, there's a tiny little change here. Notice this right here was using the CSS macro and this right here was using the color and background macro. So let's pull that back up so we can see them. So this said background color red, color green, and this is color green, background red, which we might assume would be the same shades of those colors, both red and green within a web browser. However, depending on the web browser and a number of other things, they might actually be different. So the values that Harlow has that it considers for red and green are not the exact same values that a browser has for red and green. Again, this is a case of web browsers and many other factors. So keep in mind, if you want a very specific color, you might want to use other macros or you might want to use CSS to achieve things. They can be slightly sh different shades of color. So the same effect, but slightly different. And keep that in mind. So if you want a particular thing, it might be worth trying it first with the color and background macros. Alternatively, maybe changing it and using it with the CSS macro just seeing how each thing achieves different shades. And of course, using them across web browsers, if you expect your users to be doing different things in Firefox or Chrome or whatever other web browsers you might wanna test it. But if you don't really care and you just want a very easy approach, we've already covered it, or I've already covered it. You can use color macro, background macro. You're good to go as a combination of changer macros for an enchantment and you're done with that. But at least in this video, as I've covered, you can use the CSS macro as a changer macro. You can combine it with other changer macro values, or you can just skip using cascading style sheets altogether and use the existing changer values we already have within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.